Hi everyone, welcome to Phonics Time Together. This is session two of phase two, and we're going to be looking at um, M, D, G, O, C, and K, um, and we're building on uh, session one uh, and the letters that we did there. They are contained in here because we are working through uh, learning these letters um, and making sure the children, when they see them on the screen or on the page, they know what sound they make. So if they're on the page, that's the grapheme. If it's coming out of their mouth, it's the phoneme. So uh, set one, they'll see the S, and but they will say the phoneme. They'll see the um, A, but they will say A. Ah. Okay, so we'll work our way through. We're adding on um, a few more today. So we've done S, A, T, P, I and N in session one. And the idea behind these phase two videos is that you want to just do one letter uh, per day really uh, so a video should should last you and then it's got some other activities in there as well that you can pause and, and use different parts of the video so it's not not intended that you you go from the start and go all the way through unless your ch your child is sort of okay with these letters and you want to just go over them again that 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 would work but it's using a bit of the video at a time to try and learn a new letter and then eventually get into the bit where we can read some words with those uh, letters in them so uh, just a reminder um, that we will always go over the, the previous ones um, but I will in this video just go through these graphemes as well so we can just remind ourselves so this one is s and after each one after I say it, you could pause the video and get your child to say it um, I always recommend saying it at least three times so lots and lots of practice of saying each one Okay, so here's a new one. So we've done mm. this one is mm. D. G. O. K. K. Excellent. So at this point, if you, it might be a good idea to go back to each one. And make sure they say them and you can get their finger on the screen and trace over the letter so you can get a feel of what that letter looks like you might then want to grab some chalks and head outside and have a go at writing some of those um, somewhere or nice and big in the air with their finger so getting used to the shapes of those letters um, but at the moment my the focus of these videos is if they see them they need to be able to say the sound so lots and lots of saying the, at the sound the phoneme when they, they see them on the screen again you might want to have a letter of the day so pick uh, take them in order um, so you'd start with mm, uh, have that as your letter of the day you might want to put it around the house in different places stick it on the door um, you know chalk, like I said chalk it on the floor make it a, a letter of the day and start to maybe find some things around the house or people they know in my last video i talked about friends if they've got people's friends uh, names begin with their letter m for example you'd, you'd link to those so make that letter high profile for the day what we can also do is some um oral blending activities um so uh an idea might be to give them um some instructions so in my last video uh, i did the point two so point two and then you could um, have a go at sounding out the the, the sounds um, you could uh, pause the video at this point get the child to, to sit with you and I will I will do some of these now and get them to see if they can do their pointing again okay so if you want to pause the video get your child standing up and ready uh, I'll go through some uh, oral blending Okay, let's get ready to see if we can oral blend these phonemes. Right, here we go. Can you make sure you uh, you can stand up? Excellent. So hopefully you should be standing up. Right, get your finger ready because you're going to point to some different things. Can you point to your feet? Hopefully you're pointing down to your feet eat feet right get your pointing finger ready can you point to your n -e -s knees I helped you with that one didn't I right I'm not gonna help you with this one can you put your finger on your n -o -z? 
hopefully your finger is on your nose. Okay, okay, remember this one. Can you put one arm round your b a k b a k Hopefully you should have put your arm behind your back. Are you ready for this one? Nice one to finish. Can you wiggle your b or m? Mm. Bum. Excellent, you should be wiggling your bum. Right, so I'm going to give you some things to go and find. Um, and if you've done session one, you've had a go at this, you should be really good at this, but I'm going to change the order. Can you find a t e d e? T e d e. So can you run off and find one and bring one back? Okay, so if that's going to take some time, I want to pause the video. Well done. You should have brought back a teddy. Can you find a spoon? Spoon. Off you go. Can you go and find one? Keep pausing the video while you're doing it. Can you find a b o k? A b o k. Excellent. You should have brought back a book. All right, last one. Can you find a p e n? P e n. Fabulous. So if you managed to find all the articles, you should have found a t e d e, a teddy. You should have found a sp -o -n, spoon. You should have found a b o k, a book. And the last one was a p. A, n, a pen. Fantastic. That's really good. Horrible ending. Well done. Super proud of you there. Doing your oral blending. I wonder if you can do that in the, in the um, across the day. So, for example, can you shut the d or So there you will shut the door. So can you come out with some different commands and hopefully you can do your, figure out what it is. Right, so let's have a practice at the, the letters, so the graphemes on the page that we should know. So I'm going to click them and you should be able to say what they are. Okay, so we're sitting ready, looking at the screen. Let's go over the ones we should know. We've got A, S, T. Mm. Here we go, here's our new ones, our newest ones from this session. M, D, K. O, K, K. Excellent, well done, it's coming out nicely there. Um, so you have now learnt quite a few of your graphemes in phase two. That's really, really good. So let's see if we can read some of the words that appear on the screen. Right, here we go. Can we do this one? It. It. And after each of these, you might want to pause the video so you can have a practice at reading them. S-a-t. Sat. Sit. P it pit. T ip tip. P ip pip. S ip sip. Okay, so I've obviously gone through those and now's a good time to pause the video and let your child practice reading those different words on the screen. If they're struggling, just start with uh, number one uh, and getting used to doing the two letter sounds together. Uh, and then you will just probably uh, demonstrate all the others until they start to join in with you. That's fine in the early days, not a problem. Right, let's do some blending with some of our new sounds from this video. D, A, D. Dad. D, I, P, dip. T, A, G, tag. G, A, S, gas. M, 
Hog Mog. That one's got a capital letter because it's a name. K I D Kid. And they're all up on the screen there for you to have a go at reading. So again, this is a good time to pause the video and practice your reading. Excellent reading today. That's really, really good. Uh, very impressed. You've learned lots of new graphemes and you're starting to blend them together uh, to read those words on the screen. That's really, really good stuff. Okay, so a little extra challenge today. It's a good time to pause the video because you can have a go at reading some sentences. So I will read them and then pause the video and you have a go at doing them. It sat on a tin. Kim did a tap. A dog in a pan. Now for the adults, they might, uh, the children might need to blend those words and won't read them how I've read them. They might need to blend most things. So they, it might sound a little like this. It, it, at, sat, on, on, a. Mm. Now, if they're reading at that standard, what's a really good idea is you then read the sentence. So once they get to t, i, n, you go, that's right, it sat on a tin. So you can get a feel of what that sentence sounded like uh, and what actually was in it, because their brain will be so focused on with saying the sounds. So it's, once they get to the end of the sentence, you help them. Anything that's really struggling, you help and give it, uh, you know, and show them how to do it. So pause the video and spend some time reading those sentences. Thank you for joining us for this session and reading lots of words now. I'm so impressed. Uh, make sure you subscribe because then you can find out when the new uh, videos are coming on board. There are now over 15 phase three videos. So as your child is working, at getting their way through these phase two uh, sounds, the phase three videos are there waiting for them. Um, uh, but actually, if you've done phase two with your child and found that they found, found it quite comfortable, then you might want to move over to session uh, one of phase three and see how they get on with those ones okay uh, so please yeah it'd be great if you'd like this video and subscribe and then you can keep up to date with what's happening have a great great day everyone see you soon bye